Now, dear student, we are going to discuss this question. This is 1.6. In this question, it is given to you. Four point charges QA, QB, QC and QD are located at corners of a square ABCD of side 10 cm. Okay, fine. What is the force that is exerted on one micro coulomb placed at the center of a square? Clear? So, now we are going to solve this question. Concentrate on a screen. Now, let's suppose first, I am drawing here a square. Uh, let's suppose this is square. Yes. So, let's suppose this is square and we can see four point charges are placed at the corners of a square A, B, C, D. So, let's suppose I am saying this is A, B, C and D. Clear? And let's suppose we place here four point charges. So, let's suppose here we have this charge 1, this is 2, this is number 3 and here we are having charge number 4. Clear? It is also given value of Q A, Q B, Q C and Q D. We know. So, value of Q A, this is given to you in this question 2 micro coulomb. Clear? Same here value of Q B, this is given to you minus 5 micro coulomb. Okay, fine. Value of Q C, this is given to you 2 micro coulomb. Clear? And value of Q D, this is given to you minus 5 micro coulomb. Clear to everyone? Now, listen carefully. One more point is given to you, side is having 10 centimeter. So, this is given to you 10 centimeter. Clear to you? Okay, fine. Now, what is force? This is acting on a charge of 1 micro coulomb. This is placed at the center of square. So, let's suppose I am placing here a charge. Let's suppose this is a charge and this charge is placed at the center of this square. Clear? And let's suppose if we find here distance between these two charges. How can we find? Clear? So, we can say, let's suppose we can say A, B, C, D and let's suppose this charge is E. Clear? And we know charge, this is also given to you. This is 1 micro coulomb. Clear? Objective is what? Our objective in this question is to calculate the net force this is acting on this charge. Clear? So, first I am drawing here the direction of our forces. Clear? So, now concentrate. Uh, first we can see, we can see this A charge, we can say QA, this QA we have positive and this E or we can say charge QE, this is 1 micro coulomb. I can write like this, this is 1 micro coulomb, this is also positive. Clear? So, from here you can see, we can write the direction of forces like this. We can say here force this is acting on E by A. Clear to you? Yes or no? Now, you can also see like this because this is 2 micro coulomb and this is 1 micro coulomb. Yes. So, we can say here this force is acting, this is F, this is acting on E by C. Clear? Now, you can also see here we are having negative charge and attractive force that is exerted on the charge E. Yes or no? So, we can write like this. Force this will act in this direction F, E and this is with respect to B. Clear? Now, we can also write like this. This is also minus. So, we can write like this. Force is acting in this direction and this is force acting on E with respect to D or by D. Yes or no? So, now if you find here magnitude. Clear? So, first we will write here magnitude. And then let's see uh, in which direction or what is the net force this is acting on a charge E. Clear to everyone? So, now concentrate. Now, listen. If we write here first F E A. Clear? So, we can write like this F E A. Let's suppose I am assuming this distance is R. This is R. Clear? Every distance we have R. Clear? So, we can write like this K. Clear? Here we can say this is Q E, clear, multiply we have Q A and this is divided by R square, yes or no? Now we can also write like this F, we can say F, this is E C, clear, we can write like this Q, K, Q, E, here we can say Q C divided by R square, clear? Now we can write like this F, we can say E B, this should be equal to K, Q E, we can say this is Q B divided by R square. Clear? Here we can write like this F E D, this should be equal to K, this is Q E 
this is q d divided by r square clear to everyone yes or no so from here you can see in every term we are getting one term common k q e upon r square clear and here we have this is q a yes or no then we can write like this here this is also q e over r square and this is q c clear we can also see like this k q e upon r square and here we are having this is q b clear and this is k q e over r square and this is q d now listen carefully actually we can put here all the values of k q e upon r square clear but first we will try to analyze that actually what is the forces what is the magnitude of the different forces this is acting on the charge e yes or no so now you can see if we talk about a we have charge 2 micro coulomb so we can write like this k q e upon r square and this is multiply because 2 micro coulomb we have so 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear now you can say here we are talking about f e a so first we observe what is the force this is acting f e c clear so if we talk about f e c this is k q e upon r square now charge q at point c this is given 2 micro coulomb so we can say 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 now listen carefully if we talk about force f e a and f e c both are having same in magnitude and, but acting in an opposite direction so what is net force this is acting on this charge e due to these two forces that is zero yes or no because both force are acting in opposite direction but having same magnitude you can say like this because both are having same magnitude so net force due to these two charges is zero yes or no now let's check what is the force this is acting by ed clear so for the ed uh, we can say we can write like this this is k q e upon r square and then we can write this is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 direction we have already considered so no need to write clear or if you write then you have to write all the forces in a vector form clear so now we can also write like this this is k q e upon r square now what is charge due to a uh, b point we can say this is minus 5 micro coulomb so we can say 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 clear now you can clearly see f e b and f e d both are having same in magnitude but opposite in direction yes or no so we can say again net forces by these two charges is again zero yes or no so we can say sir what is the net force this is acting on a charge that is placed on the center of this square we can say net force is zero yes or no so finally i can write like this i can write like this net force this is acting on a charge that is placed on a center this is zero yes or no you can also find this same expression in a vector form also clear but it is always better if you consider first the direction logically and then if you solve uh, for the magnitude and just compare if you are getting the net force then you have to apply the law of parallelogram addition and after that you can get net force clear but here you can see in this condition we are getting equal and opposite forces so net force we can say this is equal to zero clear so what is the answer of this question we can say correct answer we have zero newton clear